Welcome back. Presidential spokesman Bassem Radi stressed the importance of national youth conferences and creating new channels for dialogue between the leadership and the society. The National Youth Conference launches its eighth round at the Manara Conference Center in New Cairo next Saturday with an expected attendance of 1,600 participants. Presidential spokesman Bassem Radi reiterated on Wednesday that the National Youth Conferences present an interactive channel between the leadership and all segments of the society, asserting that they have created new mechanisms to hold dialogues in many political, economic, social and developmental issues. The spokesman added that the National Conferences received a positive echo locally, while also developing into an international edition which Egypt hosts under the title World Youth Forum. The National Youth Conference launches its eighth round at the Manara Conference Center in New Cairo next Saturday with an expected attendance of 1,600 participants. The Presidential Youth Program members, as well as university students and graduates, are to attend the conference besides young politicians and engineers working in national mega-projects. The one-day conference includes three sessions, including the Ask the President segment. During that session, President Assisi communicates directly with the audience and answers questions presented online earlier so as to raise public awareness related to ongoing developments. Prime Minister Mustafa Madbouli headed the weekly cabinet meeting on Wednesday. Ministers discussed a number of political, economic and social files as well as the implementation of national mega-projects along with ministerial decrees and draft laws to achieve economic and social stability, encourage investments and provide services to citizens. Eleven senior Brotherhood figures were sentenced to life imprisonment on espionage charges for the Palestinian Hamas group on Wednesday. A judicial source said the defendants included the terrorist Brotherhood's Supreme Guide, Mohammed Badia, and his deputy, Khairat al-Shatr, who were both handed life sentences. The source says five other Brotherhood members were sentenced to jail terms ranging from seven to ten years, while six were acquitted. According to the source, the verdict can still be appealed. The defendants are accused of committing crimes and collaborating with foreign organizations, namely Hamas and the Lebanese group Hezbollah. They were also accused of financing terrorism and committing acts undermining the country's stability and security.